Bust bad guys by day and ghosts by night. John McDevitt from our sister station KYW News Radio tells us about an area paranormal team with Philadelphia police officers leading investigations. Using a device that detects electromagnetic fields, Old City Paranormal co-founder John Levy, who was also a 18-year veteran of the Philadelphia Police Department, was getting several hits inside the powder magazine of Fort Mifflin. All right, whoever's here, are you following me? It appeared it was reacting to his questions. If it was a ghostly encounter, he or she didn't like me. Did, did you go away? Are you here? Light this up if you're here. I don't think he likes you. The gadget remaining silent. Other police officers on the team include his wife and another officer who is on the mayor's security detail. As a police officer, um, I mean, I got rattled big time. But then I'll sit to them, I was like, well, listen, why don't you come out with us? And they're like, that's all you get. Glenn Orwin is a contractor by trade and the tech guru on the team. Standing in the exact spot where he says he went from a skeptic to a believer, he recounts the experience several years ago when he heard a disembodied voice. And I hear right behind us, turn around. There was nobody here. Countless of visitors to the fort say they also encountered paranormal activity. This photo was snapped by a fourth grader who thought he saw a real person. But Beth Beattie with Fort Mifflin says it could be a ghost. Two uh, professional photographers, they can find no evidence of photoshopping, so we believe it to be authentic. Haunt it or not, you be the judge. There will be events between now and Halloween. More information at CBSPhilly.com. John McDevitt, KYW News Radio for CBS3 Eyewitness News.